Hi everybody. Uh, I know I haven't been online in a long time. I've been hibernating. And uh, right now I have to be really quiet because the family's all still asleep. It's 621. But I just wanted to get on here and start an online diary because so much is happening. Things are changing so fast. And um, I, I just want to keep track of it because I, I think nobody's going to believe me when when things change, people won't believe. I mean, things are already changing. So uh, I think that people won't believe how strange things were right now. So um, I'll just fill you in a little bit. Um, we have a lot of debt. We have no, I have absolutely no money in my wallet right now. That's not true. I have one nickel and one penny. <laughs> but um, we are maxed out on all of our credit cards. We have no income coming in. For months, we've had little like three hundred and forty dollars for building a fence. Ian's been doing some little things, and um, we owe almost a hundred thousand dollars between the IRS and all of our credit cards. We lived on credit cards for the past year. <laughs> That's been exciting. So, um, I, things are just crazy. Uh, just within this past week, last Saturday, June fifth or something, I posted my first YouTube thing. And it was just me sitting in front of the camera going, I just want to do something instead of thinking about doing things. I've been wanting to do a YouTube forever, and here I am doing it. And um, I'm telling you, that moment things changed. The next day, I met all these people who are doing things that, uh, they're just connections for things that I want to be doing. Very interesting. And all week, every day, something amazing has happened. And... Um, this is embarrassing to admit because it's such a huge dream. But for a while, I've wanted to have my own Oprah show. Most of you know I moved out to L.A. to be an actress about 10 years ago. And um, I did commercials and stuff like that, but it, it just didn't, didn't get me right here, you know. It wasn't the right time. So now, you know, seven years into marriage, I have two of the most fabulous kids ever, of course. And um, now it feels like it's time. And so... Uh, the dream got bigger though, bigger than being an actress. I was like, you know, what? I really want something like an Oprah show where it's more of a, where it has spiritual, the ability to, to get into people's hearts and to plant seeds and I mean, acting can do that too, but I want to do both. Well, so on Tuesday, I find out that Oprah's doing this big campaign. Like she's trying to find people to host shows on her new network and, and so all you have to do is upload a YouTube or like a little video. So anyways, I'm moving forward with that, which seems like such an insane dream to admit that you're going, oh, oh, so you want to host your own show, eh? <laughs> you're not cocky. So it's really hard to move forward with it, but um, I'm doing it and it seems crazy. I just wanted to read you a little thing. This is a the Creative Life by Eric Butterworth. He says, so if you wish to be prosperous, and I gotta tell you, prosperous doesn't mean wealthy. It means the word prosper, the original word actually means to go forward with hope. So you, like Christopher Columbus, a lot of people probably believed that the world was round, even though like the mass consensus was that it's flat, it's flat, it's flat. But I'm sure Christopher Columbus wasn't the only person that believed it was round. Obviously, Ferdinand and Isabella believed it or they wouldn't have given him the money. And So anyways, he believed it and actually acted on it. And he's the one who was rewarded with discovering a new world. I mean, that's pretty magical. But he actually moved forward on the hope, with the hope that what he believed really was true. Okay, so back to the book. So, if you wish to move, no, <laughs> if you wish to be prosperous, act prosperously, even dress prosperously, you will draw to yourself prosperous conditions. I'm experiencing this to be true. The truth is, the possibility of success and achievement exists as a present reality within you right now. But if you imagine you might fail, you will frustrate this inner I am age, inner image, but we are created in the image of the great I am. 
you will create you will frustrate this inner i image the creative potential and you will fail you are a visual creature and thus you are going to imagine yourself in some way so why not imagine yourself as creative positive and good so that's what i'm doing right now and uh thank you for supporting me oops i didn't mean to go this long uh five and a half minutes i hope you guys have a really beautiful day thank you for listening <laughs>